Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth. For those of y'all who are new here, I own a six-figure reselling business selling primarily women's clothing on places like Poshmark and eBay. And in today's video, we have a bins haul. So I head over to the Goodwill outlet, bring you with me, do some thrifting, uh, go through basically these big old blue bins, which are at the Goodwill bins, and I pay by the pound. And I found some really good stuff I can't wait to show you. So we're gonna jump back in time go thrifting and then I'm going to meet you back here and show you everything I got in the bins thrift with me haul. So let's jump into it. There are so many baby clothes at the bins. It really just blows my mind. I think that a lot of new parents want new clothes for their baby, which I guess is understandable, but they outgrow them so quickly and then they get disposed of, which is really too sad. So luckily I've been able to actually get a really good supply of baby clothes at the bins for our daughter who is due so soon, it's crazy. Um, this was a graphic tee by Johnson Motors, which I had actually never heard of. And after checking comps, certain styles by that brand can actually sell really well. Like $100 um, are just, some are just in high demand. I don't really know. So if you do come across this brand, I would recommend checking comps because you could have found a really good item. But the one I found was not in high demand and a lot of Johnson Motors tees will sell for around 10 bucks. So it's definitely not um, a guarantee. These NYDJ jeans I would have picked up, but it had a DIY cutoff job. This is a brand Asphalt Yacht Club. I never heard of it. I looked it up. It's a skateboard streetwear brand, but it typically sells for like $15 on average. So I did put it back. Um, I found a bunch of good stuff, but um, Matt had to come. Matt is my partner. You can see him in the back. He's rarely in my videos, uh, but he makes a little appearance here. He had to bring me my tripod because I forgot it. And um, so, which was really special because we went to dinner afterwards and also really special because I can never get him to go thrifting with me. But he actually did find a um, cookbook, a William Sonoma cookbook, and he has since made cinnamon rolls from that cookbook. So it was not uh, all for nothing. There it is. <laughs> this is a Gap dress that was new attack. I really like picking up mall brand new attack pieces for a Mogi box, but after checking the materials tag, it did say it was from spring 2007, and that's too old for me to want to pick up. For Mogi Box, so I did end up putting it back. This In and Out t shirt I got to take to Crossroads. We'll see if they take it. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you can, if you have a significant other, if they like going thrifting with you, <laughs> because I think that's so fun and it's something that you know you can do together. But mine will not go, especially to the bins, but even the regular Goodwill, I cannot get him to go with me. So it's fine. I can just plug in to a podcast and it can be my kind of meditative time. Um, but yeah, it's definitely nothing that we share together. However, I do find stuff for him at the thrift store all the time. So he does benefit in some ways. Okay. So I went through the shoe section and I really like seeing when there are Goodwill tags and on the shoes, because typically they're in better condition than raw donations. Raw donation shoes can be really rough and beat up. Um, those Cole Haan shoes were actually a little bit too worn for me to want to pick up and I think I couldn't find the matching pair. Um, but I didn't have a ton of luck at the shoe section this day and that seems to be the case with me just at the bins these days. I'm not finding a ton of shoes which is too bad. But when I do find a good pair of shoes, it's such a great return on investment. I love finding excellent condition shoes at the bins. Uh, I did pick up a Prana tank that was, I think, pretty much in new condition. I'll talk about that in the haul. And this, I think, side stitch is a uh, cloth and stone uh, ripoff brand, which 
there are a lot of those. Like, Holding Horses has one. I can't... It's called, like, Oak and something. Oh, speaking of Oak, this is Oak Hill. And I did look up that brand because I wasn't familiar with it. And it looks like Blazers by Oak Hill can do well. But I went ahead and passed on that cardigan. Okay, this is Kindred Braverly. I talked about this brand in my 10 maternity bolo brand video, which I will link up on the screen. Um, but they sell... They per specialize particularly in nursing bras and they can sell well. So I would recommend knowing that brand, especially if you thrift at Goodwill bins because bras are so lightweight, but that one was just not in good enough condition. Speaking of Matt keeping things <laughs> that I thrift, he actually did end up keeping those sweatpants um, that I found from J. Crew. I was debating on whether to put them in a mogi box or not, but he tried them on and decided to keep them. So. There you go. I do like picking up smart wool, but I've decided to pass on those socks just because I wasn't sure, but I think I did end up picking up one other smart wool piece. And here is my cart and how much I spent. Okay, time for the haul. And I got literally exactly 25.1 pounds. I think I put something, had to put something in the cart in order to get that. So I spent $32.38. This receipt has seen better days, but still have it for my records. And the reason hitting 25 pounds is important is because at our Goodwill bins, the price is a lot cheaper after 25 pounds. So just hit that, which I was very happy about. I'm always, that's what I'm always trying to do is just at least hit 25 pounds. And then if I can get like 40 pounds, 50 pounds, that's a really, really good day for me. I know there are people who go to the bins and find like 100 pounds, that's never been me. I think I'm just a little too selective. Okay, so first piece is actually for me because during my pregnancy, I don't know if y'all can see, I'm 35 weeks pregnant this week. This is a Nike dry fit quarter zip. And I just found during pregnancy that actually I really like wearing these because they're long, very stretchy. So I have one in blue, I decided to get that one in purple. Okay, in this, is really interesting. I think it's a tapestry or it's a shower curtain or a curtain, I'm not actually quite sure, or some kind of bed covering. But the reason, and I'll show you kind of what it looks like, it's black and white print, it has tassels along one side. So yeah, let me see, is it a curtain? No, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'll have to look it up. But the reason I got it is because I found that homewares, specifically textile homewares like bedding, etc by Urban Outfitters or Anthropology do really well for me. And so whenever I find something like this, I check just the RN number. And if the RN number is 66170, then I know it's from either Anthropology, Free People, or Urban Outfitters. And I don't think Free People does home, so it's typically one of the, those two. But here, I'll show you. And just for, in case y'all are new to reselling, RN numbers basically tell you what company produces the clothing. It's not going to tell you the style number or anything like that. But if you're ever curious, like for instance, the brand tag is missing, you can search the RN number and it'll tell you what brand or what company. And since Anthropology, Urban Outfitters, or Free People are all from the same company, they all share the same RN number. I think that's from Urban Outfitters just based off the style and the quality, but Urban Outfitters does well for me. Okay, next is another brand that does well for me, Lulu's. And specifically white dresses do really well for me. White bodycon or mini dresses do well. Ooh, this has a couple stains, but I think I can get them out. And that is because there's a lot of reasons why people buy white dresses like this. One for bachelorette parties, uh, another one is for graduation and bridal showers and stuff like that. So um, I always make sure to tag those things in my listings in the description. Bridal shower, graduation, bachelorette, when I list them. Uh, Goodwill wanted $7.99 for that, but it ended up at the bins. Next, I think this is a piece I'm going to take to Crossroads. It's a pair of Zara jeans and they are rigid denim, which is great. They have a raw hem. I don't know if that was done by the owner or if it's done by Zara. And they are a size eight. So I am going to see if Crossroads will take it. Finding Zara denim is really hard, the style name and everything. For that reason, I usually tend to <laughs> look for other ways to sell Zara denim, unless it's really unique. 
in which case I can usually find it. This was a really, really good find. It is a tunic style sweater by Eileen Fisher. And this is the tag I love selling. It's a size large and it's in excellent condition. I mean, unless there's something going on that I cannot find. Let me see what the material content is. It's 100% merino wool too. So that is an excellent find. I'm so, so happy about this one. This should easily pay for the entire haul. Might take a little bit of time because it is summer, but that's fine with me. Okay, I picked this up. I think I'm going to take it to Crossroads as well. It is Billabong. I don't know if they're gonna take this size large. I talked about how I like selling Billabong in a recent video where I went over bread and butter brands. I'll link that up on the screen. But this is just a little cute crop top. This is the Billabong label I like to sell. It always has this little metal piece on the back. And yeah, super cute. Got this kind of textured fabric, smocked the bottom here. And then it's kind of off the shoulder. Really cute. I'm gonna put that in my crossroads pile. Another crossroads oh man <laughs> well this is another crossroads piece i'll probably still take it to them but this is i don't know actually this is definitely diy someone just hacked off and not it didn't do a good job i mean look at that <laughs> hacked off the bottom to make this a crop top but it is a floral little crop top I don't know. Maybe I'll take it to them, see if they want it, but I'll be surprised if they take it. Maybe they'll be like me and not look at it so closely. Okay, so I think I'll either sell these or I'll put them in a Mogi box. This is a J. Crew, and this is a men's knit goods sweatpants. Or maybe I'll see if Matt would like these. I'm not sure. I have many different uses for them. He wears almost exclusively sweatpants. <laughs> so these are cute. They're not super recent. If I remember right, yeah, they're from spring 2016. So I will have to see what I wanna do with those. This is a Madewell tee. It says Dreamer on it, it's really cute. It does have some cracking on the A. I think I might actually take this to Crossroads as well and see if they will want it. Crossroads loves Madewell, so I like to usually throw like one or two small Madewell pieces into my consignment. Okay, and then this as well, I might throw in there. This is made well, extra, extra small. A, just a cotton tank, v-neck. This is Anthropology Maeve, and it's Maeve by Anthropology, so it's a fairly more recent piece. I think I'm gonna put this in a Mogi box. It is just a striped top, size small. This was a really good find. So admittedly, I have two Benz trips that I am shooting the hauls for today and they're both in my car and I'm pretty sure these are from <laughs> this Vince trip and not the other one, but I don't know. My pregnancy brain honestly can't keep track these days. So these are a size US 7. The brand is Taos. Uh, this is a really good bread and butter brand and pieces like this are especially kind of what I'm looking for. They're really good condition booty, but other shoes like their sandals can actually do well too. It's a brand I don't pick up too, too often because usually when I find it, it's not in good condition or Goodwill is pricing it up too high. But at the bins, these are in excellent condition, which is pretty rare nowadays. I, usually the shoes I come across in the bins are be, usually too beat up for me to pick up, but these are in excellent condition. So I was happy about that. Okay, here is a West Elm velvet pillow. So last time I picked up a velvet pillow case by West Elm. Uh, it sold really quickly, but not for a lot of money, but I think this one's a little bit more modern and it's a really pretty blue, so we'll see how it does. Okay, this is Lululemon and this is a tank with these mesh panels along the straps, which is cool, and along the back. So yeah, I'll definitely sell this and see how it does. I don't know the name of this tank, so I'll have to do a little bit of research on Lulu Fanatics, which if you are not aware, lulufanatics.com is like the best place to find style names when it comes to Lululemon. Here's another Maeve by Anthropology, and this is a really cute, just ribbed turtleneck. So I'll probably put this. Man, it has a big old hole in it. <laughs> Gosh, I looked these over. I mean, this is in good condition for a white piece, but it has a big old hole in it. So that's probably gonna be a loss. Ooh, these are really cute and I'm definitely gonna keep these. This is Patagonia. Uh, it's for a kid's size three and they're like in brand new condition, 
but they're just a little like under layer purple stripe uh, capoline pants oh they're no they're 12 months oh uh, and she's 12 months actually it'll be june <laughs> so maybe i won't keep these maybe i'll sell them okay i'll put them in the sell pile next is a pair of little shorts that i purchased for myself they are hannah anderson I mean, yeah, I purchased for my daughter and they've got little bananas with sunglasses on them. That was cute. Here is another Hannah Anderson for those of y'all who have been following along on my bins trips. I've been just picking up a ton of Hannah Anderson and then I'm eventually going to wad it up and sell it. But this is a rain jacket. It's really cute. It has really nice jersey lining and it used to belong to Sam. Yeah, it belongs to me. <laughs> oh, this I picked up actually for Matt. <laughs> He's a really big Harry Potter fan, and he's embarrassed because I actually never read Harry Potter. Um, go off in the comments about whether or not I should read it. You know, now it's controversial. So this is Harry Potter, a Gryffindor t-shirt. Although apparently he's not Gryffindor, he still wanted it. I don't know. I saw the movies. Okay. <laughs> These are a pair of Gymshark leggings, which I thought was really exciting. I really like selling Gymshark. I don't find it very often, but these are a pair of camo leggings. And I don't know where I'm gonna find the size. I think the size tag is missing. So we're just going to have to measure it and include measurements in the listing. Oh yeah, okay. So I think it used to be here. So here's the inside with this little Gymshark logo. And then at least the materials tag is there. It's been ripped out. So we will have to just guesstimate what the size is. Okay, these are Lululemon, and they feel really soft. I think they might be the Align leggings, but there is quite a bit of pilling crotch, for lack of a better word. So I'm just gonna have to sweater shave that off and see how it looks. I thought it was worth the risk of just picking it up and seeing if I could rehab them, because otherwise they're actually in really good condition, and they're so, so soft. So I'll set those aside to sweater shave. This is T by Alexander Wang. Uh, this is a size medium. I think it's just a men's t-shirt and it is 100% linen, so that's great. I don't know how much it'll sell for, probably not that much, but um, hopefully it should sell well, especially being 100% linen. Okay, I picked this up. I didn't really check comps, but the last time I tried to pick up Brooks, I had a good experience with it. And so I thought I would try to pick up this Brooks sports bra. And it's a size 38E, so it's a really good size. But it's really, really well made. And has three clasps on the back. That looks like, I guess it's maybe called the Juno bra. Uh, that's nice. I don't have to search the style name. But yeah, that's what the Brooks logo looks like. Brooks shoes do really well. I mean, I think it's a runner's favorite brand. I have a pair of Brooks that was recommended to me by my podiatrist a long time ago. Okay, this is another Lulu's, and this is going to be a really good one for summer. It is a maxi dress in this gauzy fabric. Uh, Goodwill wanted $9.99 for it. It is a wrap dress too, a true wrap dress. So hopefully it should do well. I really like saying Lulu's especially maxi dresses. Okay, I picked these up. I think I will take them to Crossroads. They are Pack Sun, and they're really cute. They're like this patchwork denim, rigid denim, vintage inspired. They are called the Mom Jean in size 26, but yeah, definitely a unique style. These I picked up and I will take to my friends who sell jeans. These are the Mom Jean and they're a size eight. Maybe I'll look them up and see if I want to sell them for myself, but these are a really good candidate to take to them as well. And if you're in the Pacific Northwest, like in the Seattle, Portland area, and you want to sell to them, they buy jeans primarily, but also bottoms, and they have a certain brand list that you have to stick to for $4 a piece. So helps me hit my 25 pound mark, which I always appreciate. And then I picked this up. It's been a really long time since I sold this brand, but it was new with tags, so I thought, hey, you know, there's no better time to see if it still has any demand on the resale marketplace than when you find it new with tags at the bins. And it is Boston proper. 
which is a catalog brand. It's not the best size, it's a size extra small, but it's this cold shoulder jersey dress with these faux pearl button accents along the neckline. Pretty, we'll see, I don't know. Let me know if you sell any Boston proper in the comments down below. Okay, and I picked this up. I don't know if I'm going to sell it myself or put it in a Mogi box, but it is a Love Linen J Jill top in a size small. Um, linen pieces by J Jill, I find, I mean, I have very limited experience, but the limited experience I do have, uh, they do well. So, I don't know, I think I might put it in a Mogi box. Not sure, I really like that print though. Okay, here is a men's Ted Baker Henley. It's got kind of a like a marled look, but it's stripe, it's marled stripe, is that the thing? <laughs> Whenever I sell Ted Baker, this is a size five, I'll include a size chart, and then I'll actually convert the size. But yeah, I should sell this. Hopefully it should sell pretty quickly, not for too much money though. And then I found these Lululemon capris, but I did not check them over <laughs> close enough. Because, once again, they've got a hole. I don't know if I should just sell as is or just mark it as a loss and move on. They are fairly old style, so I'm leaning toward mark it as a loss and move on. But let me know in the comments down below what you would do with that. Okay, I picked this up for Crossroads. It is a embroidered crop top. Perfect for summer. It does need to be lint rolled, unfortunately. It has a Ross tag still on it. This is the old American Outfitters uh, tag, so I'll be interested to see if they take this, but it is cute. I feel like it's on trend. And then, oh, someone I met at the Vins, I met a couple of people at the Vins this time around. Someone gave me this that they found. It's so, so cute. It is a little knit cardigan, and it's Baby Gavin. It's got these little ears on it. So cute in its size six to 12 months, so. I'll be keeping that one. I don't know if there's any resale value for this, but it is smart wool. I saw it immediately. And it's just a hat, a smart wool hat. So I'll have to check comps, but I mean, it's so lightweight, 100% merino wool that, you know, why not? Okay, so with this, when I was checking out, I was trying to like find things to put in my cart to make it 25 pounds. I found this lint roller. I obviously need to take the outside one off, it's disgusting. But it actually, it's pretty sticky and it has quite a few rolls left, so, you know, why not? I use a lint roller all the time in this business. Okay, and then I found, I'm gonna take this to Crossroads. Although, last time they didn't accept my In-N-Out tea, but Buffalo Exchange did, so we'll see how it turns out this time around. It's an In-N-Out t-shirt, it's California, that on the back, so we'll see. Here is, a Prana tank top, size small. I'll either sell this or put it in a Mogi box. Goodwill wanted $12.99 for it. It must be, I mean, it feels like it's in excellent condition, but it must be somewhat new. You can see that it has the little tag remnant on it. And for whatever reason, our Goodwill's got a ton of like brand new Prana stuff recently. So some of it's making its way to the bins. And I think that's what this is, so. I'll have to figure out what to do with it. Okay, and then I think I'm going to give this to my friends who sell pants. This is seven for all mankind. I thought these were really interesting. They're size 27, and they are these velvet wide leg pants, high rise. I kinda wanna look them up to see what they're worth, but really interesting, cute pants. And they're like a purple velvet. I got this little notebook. Take note, you make a difference. Isn't that cute? And it's blank, so I was like, you know what? I actually do need notebooks and stuff, so that was a pretty good find. And then the last piece that I found, these Torrid pants. They are size four. Goodwill wanted $12.99 for them. And they are just a wide, like kind of gaucho culotte style. So I will be selling those. But yeah, that is everything from the haul. So I am going to real quick tally up all the different items that I found and tell you what my average cost of goods is. Okay, so I got in total 36 pieces, which brings my average cost of goods to 90 cents per piece, which is great. I love when I can get less than a dollar for my average cost of goods at the bins. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was. I was really excited to find brands like Taos, brands like Smart Wool, Patagonia, Brooks, 
excited to see how those do. I think that Eileen Fisher sweater is going to do really well. But if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe, please, please, please subscribe <laughs> to our YouTube channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye.